Hi, so today I want to talk about fear because uh, fear as a word usually, well, it tends to um, invoke a reaction of, like a knee jerk reaction of denying, of shunning, of putting aside, playing down. And while Fear, understanding fear, the inner workings of fear, is one key to uh, mastering this physical world of daily accumulation. And I think fear is a common recurring theme amongst the entire humanity. And to um, to direct fear in ways that are best for you as a life would be best for all life uh, always. So uh, firstly, fear only exists in the mind. So it only exists as thoughts, emotions, and feelings. And a so-called right amount of fear creates like a body high. It, it creates a high like a drug, which, uh, which you can observe when you read the news, the, the headlines of the news. Like the journalists, they, they made this uh, fear-inducing reaction almost like an art where they, cons they construct words in such a way that it invokes fear. And, and also watching the news, like when you watch the news and you uh, so-called see what is happening in the world, um, a lot of the subjects that the news talks about is there to keep you in an appropriate amount of fear to, to benefit the con control of the many for the few, to benefit the few and control the many, right? And then um, because fear is exclusively the domain of the mind, of consciousness, uh, that already implies all words spoken internally cannot be trusted because, because you can't really distinguish a word spoken internally that is from self-honesty to one that is from fear. Like it's very hard to distinguish. And because the mind is the domain of illusion, like you can only create illusions in the mind. Um, it's I mean that it is what it is. Like the mind creates illusions, so. It requires a reinvestigation of meaning in those small participations in the mind, which ends up being words spoken internally. And and then, yeah, that's about all I have. Yeah, thanks. Bye.